Uh, Sandy, Sandy Glamour Tutorials. They're just all over my social media, all over my Facebook. If you friend me or follow me on Facebook, there's, I don't know, a few thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so fun. Oh my gosh, I did one with my little grandbaby, Stella, where she, listen, we were like, I don't know. Indian warriors. It was something. None of the, yeah. she every, her favorite color is blue. So we were blowing it up, friends. We totally. were getting for it. <laughs> I was like, totally. all right, grandma looks really nice. And she got really offended when I took it off to leave the house, but. Right. Oh, Why, how dare you? I know. I was like, I don't really care. I'll just wear it. I don't, I don't know. Different faces. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay. Well, we're going to start friends and don't worry if I mute you, please don't get offended. I just do that because even if you're in a quiet room, especially if you're on a speaker phone, it won't always show up like this, but yeah. we've learned in the recordings, it creates this weird echo and I don't know, alien noise. It's crazy. So welcome to Lunch and Learn. We love seeing new faces. So I love that this is spreading out and getting to everybody in the Mary Kay world. And what I love about this, it's literally from new consultant to national. Anybody can be on this. It's just a little midweek pick me up and girlfriend camaraderie time. And what is the most fun to me is that we all get to see each other and get to meet new friends that we might never get to meet because, you know, if we go to seminar in our division, they might be in a different division. And so I love the fact that we all get to be together. So I'm going to go through real quick, make sure everybody's muted. Love y'all again. Don't do that. I just have to. Sorry about it. Um, but anyone's welcome. So if you're new to this, there is a Facebook group called Lunch and Learn. It's a picture of Mary Kay in her red dress from, I don't even know how many years ago. It was on from the Pause magazine. Um, I do put the recordings on YouTube. It's just my name, like it shows up on here today. So if you're a YouTuber and it's more convenient for you, um, it's just so hard sometimes playing the, if you don't get the password just right on Zoom, that's why I'm like, we're shifting, you know, it just messes up trying to do the replay. So We've been putting on YouTube and then I post it in that Facebook group. So if anyone ever gives documentation, I put it on there too. But with that being said, I probably have the last two years of these trainings. I started this for my unit and then I opened it up to the whole Mary Kay world. And we even have a few uh, top directors who have it translated. So it goes worldwide now. It's yeah. so cool. But I know people go to the YouTube and they're like asking me for something from two years ago. My like, girl, no, I'm sorry. I have no idea. I wish I was better about it, but I, I thought making a Facebook group. So I was like, I don't need one more thing. to. But anyway, here we are. So anything current that's, you know, been recent, they go on there and the, I don't know if they hand me a script or whatever. I put it on there also. So that isn't always on the YouTube, but it is on the Lunch and Learn Facebook group. But I wanted <laughs> girls who don't do social media like that have another way and resource to have access to it. So we love you all. Thank you for making this so successful and sharing with all your people. We have my gorgeous friend, Amanda Wright. We just connected on our top director trip to Alaska and we've just been friends ever since. I don't know. We've just connected in so many ways. I love her. She is the real deal. She, your ideas are so innovative. And I'm, I just want you to know how much I love you. I appreciate you, friend for one being so go give and pouring into so many women um, that you don't even know. I mean, sometimes you don't realize that Amanda gets nothing from this. That's what I'm going to say. She gets nothing from this other than just knowing she did something good for the Mary Kay world. And I just appreciate you for taking your time, because can't we all appreciate how valuable our time is right now to do that? And so I'm going to let you take over and just know I love all of you, your guts, everything, girl. Love you. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and ditto. I love you too. Um, I warned um, a couple of you guys at the beginning of the call. Can everybody hear me? Okay. I'm good. Okay. Um, that I have a basement full of my kids and neighborhood kids. So Let's hope they stay down there. I've given them mac and cheese. I've given them chicken nuggets. They should be fine. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I am super excited to talk to you guys this morning about, um, actually it's afternoon here, about lead generation. Um, Jennifer and I are both in a Voxer group um, that is for anybody that's ever been a top director, anybody that's ever earned the top director's trip. And I don't know what she would say about this, but I feel like every so often, every few weeks, Somebody's like, who's got new lead generation ideas? <laughs> who's got, um, my girls are, I need some new lead generation ideas for my girls. And I, I need some fresh ideas or a fresh take on an old idea. 
And it is something that I think, um, you know, we can feel so stuck in. Um, but then somebody says one little thing and you're like, oh my gosh, this is not difficult, right? And so um, I texted with Jen the other day and I'm like, hey, what's something that hasn't been talked about for a while on the call? She's like lead generation. I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll do that. Um, and so it's something that I'm super excited about. It's something that I'm super passionate about. Um, it's something that I feel like I maybe do have a fresh um, take on an old idea for you guys. And I'm going to be sharing that. I almost texted her this morning and said, I have 30 minutes, right? And then as I finished looking over my five pages of notes, so I'm going to talk really fast. <laughs> um, and if you see me looking up and down, it's because I got lots of notes I want to share with you guys. Okay. Um, and so I'm just going to jump right in lead generation. We cannot sell this product if we don't have anybody to sell it to. We cannot build a team if we have nobody to present the opportunity to, right? Lead generation is something that is essential to our business. It's also something that has always, always existed. Like we've always had to lead generate. As um, time has passed and we have um, you know, started using new platforms and um, utilized different ways of doing the same old thing in our business, but presenting it either virtually or with sample packs or working from home or hybrid working in person. Um, lead generation is still something that's just as essential today as it was years ago. Um, and I think that social media in so many ways has kept us or um, reconnected us with old or familiar faces, names, new people, right? But I think that it has also created somewhat of a tunnel vision. And um, we have maybe even lost um, touch with how you actually meet new people in life, how you make new friends, how you join new groups of women. Um, because it seems like in a time when we are so overly connected through screens and platforms and, you know, whatever, we're also becoming more and more disconnected, right? Um, in the physical, in the physical presence. Um, and so I'm going to talk to you about some old school generation. Okay, old school lead generation and how to put a new spin on it. Okay, because I absolutely use social media to lead generate, but only as a way to layer. Okay, um, because I find that when I am patient and I utilize social media in the way that I'm going to show you guys today, um, it's much more solid. OK, so old school lead generation um, back when Jen and I started, Mary Kay, and some of you guys on the call even before that, like you would take business cards out and you would do things like warm chat. And some of you guys are like, what's that? <laughs> warm chat is like you would go out and look for sharp women. And Mary Kay had a rule that was like if the sharp women, you hand your business card to anybody that comes within three feet of you. There was like a three feet rule, three foot rule. Um, and you have to imagine that back in those days, not only were we building individual businesses, but we were building brand recognition for Mary Kay Incorporated, right? It was a newer company back then. Um, and so Mary Kay's rule of thumb was if you come within three feet of someone, you hand them your business card and you ask them, have you ever heard of Mary Kay Cosmetics? right? And some of you who are newer to the business or younger, you might be like, I cannot imagine doing that. And we did it. Ladies on the call, tell me a yes. Did you do it? You did it, right? Proudly. You did it proudly. Um, and so that is total old school lead generating, right? Um, but the good news was still do it. Carla says she's still doing it. And I do too. There are times that I encounter people and I'm like, oh my gosh, if she showed up at a party or an event with someone else, I would be so mad at myself. I have to give her a card, right? And so that is old school lead generation, okay? Or one example of it. Um, that was before social media existed, right? When you were out and about, you had samples on you, you had business cards with you. Many times you left your house specifically to go lead generate, to go warm chat, right? Um, and so I want to encourage you to implement that old idea in this fresh new way, okay? First of all, 
our worlds, our lives have become so automated, right? You have your groceries delivered, you have your lunch delivered, you have, you know, um, you, you barely, like, even if you don't have your groceries delivered, you drive up to the door and somebody that you don't know puts them in the back of your vehicle, right? Um, you go through the bank drive through and now, I don't know about you guys, but my bank doesn't even have a teller anymore. It's a machine that has like a computer generated person on a screen that's not even real explaining to me my deposit and says, hi, how are you today? And it's like, it's a, like a, a, not a real person, right? Our lives have become so automated, but I want to encourage you because if you are on this call, you are interested in building a business and building a business with Mary Kay means lead generating. It's necessary. And so I want to encourage you to um, not waste time because automated life obviously can save you time. It can create some efficiency for you. But I want to encourage you to not live a completely automated life because what you will find is that you stop, you, you literally blockade ways of meeting new people when you live an automated life. And so what I want you to do is I want you to prepare yourself every day when you think about what you have to do. Okay, I'm going to drop the kids off at school and then I need to um, go um, straight to work. And then on my lunch hour, I was going to go pick up my grocery order. I'll run those home really quick. I'll go back to work. When I get off, I have to go make that bank deposit. When I get done with that, I'm going to go pick up the kids and then I'll head to the ball field. I'm going to drop them off. I'll sit in the car for a minute and I'll balance the checkbook and I'll pay bills. You guys, all of those things are things that we're most of the time, the women in the household are res responsible for, right? I want to encourage you to think about little ways throughout your day that you could afford to cut out the automation and to include some interaction with people. Okay. Um, and I want you to prepare yourself by thinking about throughout the day, like, okay, when I go to the bank, there's that really cute girl that works inside. I usually go through the drive through but I'll have enough time. I can spare a minute to pull in and actually get out of my car and walk into the bank. Okay. Now, Walking into the bank only really makes sense if you're going to hand her a business card, right? Um, and for me, I always shied away from asking, asking for the number, um, unless I had something to give that person. If I could give her samples or a sample, um, if I could give her a discount card that said register on my website or you know, $10 off your first order, 25% off your first order, 10% off your first order. If I had something to offer her, I felt comfortable asking for something in return, right? Um, and, and what would you be asking for? Um, maybe her feedback on the product. Like, um, you know, we just implemented these um, new boosters and I would love to get your feedback on them. We just launched these new matte liquid lipsticks and I would love to get your feedback on them. And for doing so, here's my website. If you go on and register on my website, whether you buy something or not, you are going to be entered to win one of these lipsticks of your choice for free. I give away one every single week or, you know, whatever you wanted to do. Um, but if you could actually, if you could actually offer her something in exchange for her contact information, you guys, when they register on your site, you, you don't even have to write their number down, right? Like it's already on there their name, their address, their phone number. When they register on your site, it asks them for that. But I want you to take that a step further. One thing that I really like to do um, is if somebody compliments me, say they say, oh my gosh, I love your handbag. And typically it's a gift from Mary Kay. And I'm able to say, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it too. I actually just got it. Um, my work sent it to me. It was a, um, I earned it. It was a sales incentive. And they're like, oh, where do you work? Right? I don't lead with, I'm a consultant with Mary Kay. I say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. My work actually just sent that to me. It was a sales incentive and I want it for being one of the top salespeople in our company. And they're like, where do you work? That gives away Kate Spade bags. Oh, I'm actually a sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics. And they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know Mary Kay was still around. Or I've seen a pink Cadillac around town. Do you know who that is? It's me. 
<laughs> but do you know who that girl is? You know? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's me. I'm like, you know what? We have a studio here in town and I do facials and I teach skincare and I teach glamour application. And I actually have tons of videos on my social media. Um, are you on Facebook? And she's like, yes, I'm on Facebook. I'm like, let me friend you real quick. Instead of asking for her number, I will immediately say, are you on Facebook? I'd love to friend you. Right? I'm not asking her for much. I'm not intruding on her personal space or her personal, you know, give me your digits, you know, give me your information, which sometimes is appropriate anyway, right? And sometimes it's not. Um, but here's what happens when I, she's, everybody is like, yeah, I'm on social media and they'll give me their name, right? And I'll friend them right there in the grocery line. And here's what's exciting about that. Because if that happened to you, what would you do? You would immediately get my friend, re friend request. And the next time you took a break or you got off work, you'd be like, oh yeah, here's that girl. I would start showing up in, in her feed. And I personally would get sucked into my own glamour videos, right? Like I would get sucked into that. And I would also see that I am a real person who runs a full-time Mary Kay business and I'm a stay-at-home mom and you know, this is what I, we like to do for fun. They would get a little glimpse into my life. And so here in lies the beauty of social media as it pertains to your Mary Kay business. Your social media is like your commercial campaign. Okay. My husband works for a pest control company and it's a local pest control company, but it is very successful. Very like I think it actually would shock people to know how much revenue they generate. But you guys, they spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars annually on advertisement. And that's TV commercials, it's radio commercials, it's Facebook ads, it's um, social media strategists, it's anything that they can do to keep their name in front of potential and current clients. That is what social media is for you. If I opened your social media today, would I even be able to tell that you had a Mary Kay business? Would I even know that you had a Mary Kay business? If you clicked on my social media, you would know I am a full-time mom, very invested in my family. And second to that, I have a booming Mary Kay business and that I sell cosmetics and skincare. Would people even know that you have a Mary Kay business? And if they wouldn't, it's time to start sharing it. And I'm not saying share it in the old way that we knew, you know, we watched all these companies pop up and utilize social media to grow their network. I'm talking about giving people a real life glimpse into who you are, because ultimately, yes, the product, the product is what you're selling, but they're interested in purchasing you. <laughs> they want to know who you are. They want to know how you live. They want to know what your family's like. They want to know who they're supporting when they're purchasing the product from you. You guys, the cosmetic industry is huge. They could buy from anyone, but if they like you, they will purchase from you. And so does your social media reflect a successful Mary Kay consultant? And I'm not saying that you've got awards posted and you, oh my gosh, I, you know, um, all this fabulous things about me, but would they even know, do you share your business online? Okay. Um, could you successfully ask somebody, do you have Facebook? I would love to friend you on there. Um, and then could you reach out to him? Hey, it's me from the other day at Walmart when we were in the line and you complimented my bag. Anyway, I wanted to, you know, I mentioned um, that I was going to friend you and I just thought about you again this morning. We have a spa event coming up. <laughs> Excuse me. We have a spa event coming up Wednesday evening and I have a spot for 10 women and I would love for you to come soak your feet. We're going to have lattes. We're going to have snacks, you know, however you want to invite them. I've got an invitation that has a gift card with it for $10 off for my first 10 people that come. Are you available? <laughs> uh, and now my allergies are going to set in. So anyway, could you utilize your social media in that way to attract and layer and sell yourself to the people that you encounter throughout the day, right? <laughs> 
So looking at social media as a little advertisement into who I am. Um, okay, let me catch myself up on my notes here. Okay, so the other thing that social media is going to do for you is keep your name top of mind for your current clients. So you guys, um, things like short little tutorials, you do not have to be a brand um, ambassador, influencer <laughs> to work Facebook Live, right? All you need is some good lighting and a quick tutorial. It could be literally how you apply your favorite lipstick and what you love about it. It could be a full face of makeup. It could be removing eye makeup with an eye makeup remover, which amazes everybody every single time. It could be quick going on with your daughter like I did yesterday and do a little makeup. Let her put her makeup on while you put your makeup on. Um, little short tutorials and videos and demos that help keep the product in front of your potential clients and your current clients. You guys, I want to encourage you to the company has so many beautifully polished and um, curated photos that we can share of the product. Um, and I utilize those many times as well. But for the most part, I let my face be the image of what it is that I'm sharing. People want to see what the product does on someone that they know. People want to see what it is that you use to make your skin look like that. People want to see what colors you're wearing on your eyes, right? They know you. They trust you. You want to become a touch point um, for them. Like if they, you know, you want to be the first person that they think of. If they're thinking like, I have a wedding coming up. My daughter's getting married. I wonder what eyeshadows I should be wearing. You want them to think of you first, right? They can only think of you first if you are sharing your face and what you wear and how you use it and what your most popular products are and what your favorites are, right? So this is a great way for you to keep your face, your name top of mind when they're thinking about cosmetics and skincare. Um, it's also a great way to show your personality. Again, they are interested in buying you and the product that comes along with you. So are you sharing that? Um, a little glimpse into your life. Okay, so let's talk about outside of that. Okay, we've talked about how you can utilize your Facebook. Are you on Facebook? You know, how you can use that to warm chat, how you can drive people to your website by giving them a business card. If you register on my site, you get 25% off of your first order. Um, you know, I'd love to get your feedback on this miracle set. It's our favorite, you know, best selling skincare line. We've talked about those couple of things. Let's talk about how you can make a connection when entering new groups of people. OK, because what I find is that when somebody comes to me and they say I'm out of people, never once have I actually met somebody who was out of people. Now, I've met people who were out of the people they were willing to get in touch with, but they definitely were not out of people. Um, and we have to be so careful about prejudging and making sure that we are not deciding for the people in front of us that they don't want anything to do with Mary Kay because um, we don't know, right? We don't know. And so how do you get involved in groups and activities? You guys, um, after becoming a mom, I have an eight-year-old and a seven-year-old, but when they were very, very little, I was in that weird place in life where I was like, you know, like your friends kind of grow in different directions because now their kids are a little bit older than yours or they don't have kids yet. And so you're like, oh, we don't hang out with them so much anymore. And I don't work outside of the home. And so I don't know anybody that way. And I, you know, it just starts to feel kind of isolated. Right. And so I noticed right away, like I've got to get in some groups of people for my own mental health and emotions, not necessarily for my business, just my own mental health. And I had a customer who invited me to a group called Mops. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Mops, but it's called Mops Moms of Preschoolers. And I could go on and on and on, but this is not a promotion for Mops. Although I do think it saved my eternal life. <laughs> it literally is a group that I was like, I'm not even going to tell these women what I do for a living because many of them are stay-at-home moms. I just want friends. I'm not looking for business. I need friends, right? And so when I came into the group, it was a large group. Um, I remember them saying like, do you stay home? And I'm like, I do. I, I work from home, but I have a, you know, I just have a little business. And I would kind of like downplay it because I just wanted to be a friend. I just wanted a friend, right? I didn't want them to think that I was there to market to them. But you guys, slowly but surely, I became friends with them on social media. They saw me drive up to the meeting in a pink Cadillac, 
right? And um, I obviously, you know, somebody who wears makeup and, and um, they started to notice little things. And so um, I was, before I knew it, having them say, hey, are you, do you sell Mary Kay? What's this Glam Factory place? That's my studio where I would hold parties. Um, and they would ask, like, it's been years since I've tried the product. I would love to um, get together with you. And I need a foundation and I need somebody to help me with my makeup. But I never once approached them, right? Um, and I learned through that experience, you don't always have to. <laughs> If you live your Mary Kay life out loud and you wear the product and it is part of your social media, they're going to catch on to that. And then you're attracting them. You're not attacking them with, oh, I also have this business with Mary Kay. Here's my business card. Would you want to, right? Eventually that opportunity will come. But breaking into a new group, it was my goal to make friends. And so that's what I was focused on. But in the interim, because I live my Mary Kay business out loud and my Mary Kay life out loud, they were attracted to that, right? And I've also, over the years, we joined a new church um, about five years ago and kind of breaking into that same thing. People would start to say, are you the one that drives the pink Cadillac in the parking lot? And I'm like, it's me. And they're like, oh my gosh, I love Mary Kay. You know, things like that would happen. Now, if you don't have a pink Cadillac to park in the parking lot, that doesn't mean that you can't attract people to you, but little things that you can do, like as women started to purchase product from me, I would deliver it in front of the other women standing around at Sunday school to pick up their kids. People are like, Ooh, what'd you get? What's what she order? What'd she get? Do you have any books with you? Like doing it out in the open. Right. And then before you know it, you are the Mary Kay lady at church joining a new gym about a year and a half ago. I joined a new gym. Same, same thing. I didn't come in guns blazing. Like I'm a Mary Kay consultant. If you need product, come to me. But I got to know these women and you know how you work out with the same women typically if you're in a, in a class setting or whatever. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to ask the gym owner, can I put skincare in the locker room? After about six months, eight months, nine months, I did you guys see there's neighbor kids right there. Sorry. <laughs> um, but um, can I put skincare in your gym? right in your locker room. Can I put skincare in here? So you guys, I have micellar waters and eye makeup removers and a cotton ball stand and um, samples of microderm and cleansers and moisturizers. And I took a picture of it and I put it on Facebook in the gym's, in the gym's social media thing. You don't need to pack your skincare anymore. I've got it stocked in the, the um, locker room. You guys, from that one post and putting samples in the locker room, which now I've been supplying at the gym for months, People started reaching out to me. I wondered whose pink Cadillac that was. Is that you? Um, I used to use the products. Could I get a catalog? Do you guys still sell extra moyet night cream? I tried the microderm yesterday when I was in there showering. In love with it. Can you leave one at the front desk for me? I'll send you a Venmo right now. So just finding little ways to incorporate your business into the groups that you're a part of, right? Same with your kids' school, your kids' sports. You guys, it's so easy for us, especially I can be somebody that gives and gives and gives of myself um, socially all day long. And then at the end of the day, I'm not into it. I just want to be quiet and <laughs> to myself, right? But when it comes to sitting on the bleachers at the games, are you getting to know the other women sitting around you? Where do you work? Tell me about you. Which, which one's your son? Oh yeah, they had the same teacher this year. You know, getting to know them. And then it's only natural that they would ask, what do you do? And you're like, well, I run a business from home. I, I'm actually, I drive that pink car that's sitting out there. I've had a Mary Kay business for about 19 years now. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And letting them be attracted to you and to your business. Um, and eventually they will filter into it. This is where... People will start to connect with you on social media um, and see what it is that you do, right? People are nosy. And now we feel like we have a glimpse into everybody's life, right? And so you can do that. That same thing that I did at the gym, I also did where my husband plays golf. There's a women's locker room um, at our golf club. And I did the exact same thing. 
eye makeup removers, micellar waters. You guys, women are showering there. They will take a sample with them. And these are bougie women. If they're, if they can afford a gym membership or a golf membership, they have extra money, right? They are women that you want to be selling the products to. Okay. So now let's talk about your warm market. Okay. Um, this is not necessarily people that you are super personally close with, um, but they're the ones you see on a semi-regular basis, okay? Or they have a familiar face. Like if you ran into them at the grocery store, you'd be like, oh, hey, right? And that would be the extent of it. You don't know their husband's name. You don't know where the kids go to school, but you recognize them, okay? People like the mail carrier, your UPS driver, your lawn care company, the girl that delivers your Instacart groceries. You guys, if you have your groceries delivered and you don't give that person a sample of Mary Kay in your business card, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put a a little baggie full of stuff together. And even if you're not gonna be home, leave it for them. Thank you for delivering my groceries. I appreciate you and I am grateful for the convenience that you made in my life today. Here's a gift for you. I'm a business owner. Visit my website, your first order is 25% off. Do you think they're not gonna at least check out your website? Do you think they won't probably register to see what you have to offer? And then you reach out to them and say, hey girl, I just let you register on my website. Would you have to be my Instacart girl, right? Like there's a way for you to connect with those people. Your cleaning lady, your bank teller, the pharmacy tech, where you get your allergy meds filled every, every month or whatever, the receptionist at school. When is the last time you, I walk my kids into school a lot because we're tardy sometimes. <laughs> But when is the last time that you walked in and said, hey, here's a little gift for you, um, you know, make those connections. The women who provide the child care, the Sunday school at your church, they're standing everywhere. You guys, they're everywhere. Who does your husband know? Does your husband golf? Does your husband hunt? Why not invite all of the, the guys that he golfs with, the guys that he hunts with? Why not get the women together? Your husband spend, my husband spends two times a week with these golf guys. I need to know their wives. Why not invite them to my house for um, charcuterie and cocktails or mocktails and facials, right? Even if you don't incorporate a full-blown skincare class, invite them in, get to know them, right? Offer what you have to offer. Stop telling yourself you don't know these people. I don't know their wives, but there's no reason I couldn't get to know them, right? Are your kids in sports? Do a baseball mom's night out with your at your home, at your Mary Kay studio. Rent a little room. Get the moms together. Maybe you even do like a second grade mom's night out. Like if your son is in second grade, get all those moms together. Um, there are so many ways that you can connect with the people that are around you to get to know them, to make friends with them, to layer, right? Even the possibility that they might be your customer or your client. You guys, there's other things that you can do like teacher appreciation luncheons, healthcare worker luncheons. We do a teacher appreciation luncheon every year. I've been doing this for about six years now. And some of my girls were on the call and they would tell you, we pack the house now. And I literally buy frozen lasagnas from Sam's and breadsticks from Sam's. And I get bagged salad and um, those frozen little square cheesecakes from Sam's. And we put them out and we say teachers only, and they each get a $10 gift card. And we do a full on skincare class. Sometimes I think last time that we had um, a room full, there was like 40 teachers there, um, all mine, but also some of my unit members teachers. And we went around the room and we had them tell us how many years they had given to education and what grade they teach and what their favorite thing is. And we honored them, right? But we sold tons of product too. And we booked lots of parties too, right? You can find little ways to honor people, but also lead generate through that, right? Um, you guys, there have been years, I've been in Mary Kay for 19 years. There have been many times that I have set up booths, a booth outside of my favorite local coffee shop. I would go in and talk to the owner and typically a locally owned coffee shop, the owner's there every day, right? Um, and I would work in there and I would get to know them and I would say, hey, would you mind if I set up a little table? When's your rush start in the morning? And they're like, about 6.30. I'm like, okay, can I set up a little booth, a little slim table and do a drawing for not only a gift card or two to the coffee shop, but also some Mary Kay gift cards. And, um, 
they're like, yeah, that's fine. Totally fine. Where are you going to set up? Where do you want to do it? I'm like, I'll just do it right here as they walk in. I'll say, hey, we're giving away gift cards to Coffee Zone this morning, as well as pampering sessions and um, a gift card to um, my website, right? And I would get tons of names and numbers that way. But I had to ask. I knew, again, people who stop by coffee shops usually are people who are not afraid to spend a little extra money, right? Um, reach out to, who can you network with? Um, do you have a local cheer gym, gymnastics gyms, dance studios, Girl Scout troops, pageant circuits? Um, I think about often, I've, I've um, said this before to some of the girls that are on my team. We have a little college here in town called Metro Business College. It's a two-year associate's degree specifically for business. Could you reach out to them and offer to come talk about professional image? Could you reach out to them and say, are you doing a job fair anytime soon? I would love to set up a booth and talk to your graduates about professional image, right? Um, great way to meet hungry, young, professional women, right? Um, Zonta groups, um, FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, those teens have moms, right? <laughs> and if they're Future Business Leaders of America, chances are they've had examples of entrepreneurship in their family or in their life. And they are future business leaders, right? Um, speech and debate teams, they have moms. Music studios, all of these things, there is a presentation in how they look, right? Could you be the one that comes in at the beginning of every cheer season and figures out what their competition uniforms are going to be? And everybody has to look the same on those cheer teams, right, when they go compete. So they need bright blue eyeshadow? Got it. They need hot pink lipstick? Got it. Why couldn't you be the supplier of that? And it starts there, but then you get to know the girls and you get to know their moms and you get to know the families. And then they're like, what do you have for my daughter's acne? Right? Because you've attracted them in. You guys, facial boxes. This is an old take. <laughs> this is an old idea, but they're back again. You guys, I live in a semi-small town. I mean, it's not that small, but there's facial. I have had twice, twice, two of my friends out and about text me a picture of a facial box recently and say, is this one of your girls? <laughs> because they're seeing facial boxes at their nail salons, at coffee shops, at their oil change and tire change places, at um, boutiques, flower shops optometry offices. My friend sent one from her optometrist. Think about it. Women are in there trying on glasses, trying to look good, right? Why couldn't they also sign up for a free facial? You could do a professional woman's portfolio where you reach out to other female local business owners. Could I spotlight your business all over my social media and give you a makeover and take professional headshots? You guys, these iPhones are about as good as professional cameras now, right? Could you spotlight them? Could you interview them about your business? Could they refer you to other women who then have already seen their pictures on social media of their face made up? And when you reach out to them and say, hey, I'm Courtney's Mary Kay lady, and I just spotlighted her on social media with her business. You probably saw it. She um, referred you to me, and I have a gift card for you. I would love to get together and try some of our products, give you a custom foundation matching and do a summer glamour look, right? Could you team up with local photographers, spray tan owners, bridal shops? Once you get a connection with these people, not only through facial boxes, but would, would there be any reason that you couldn't say, hey, could I put together a little something? Do you give your brides a, a goodie bag? Most bridal shops do. Could I put together um, my, the lipstick that I put on almost every bride is Rosewood. Could I put a sample of our Rosewood lipstick in that little goodie bag and a business card for my um, services or for a percentage off of my website? Most of those small business owners are going to say yes. And here's why. Because they want to fill up those goodie bags, but they want to fill them up inexpensively. So if you're willing to donate some goodies to it, no brainer, right? You guys, and here is where the lead generation gets easy. Once you've taken one or six of these ideas and you run with it and you get some actual appointments booked, okay, and you turn those appointments into parties, you will never have to lead generate again. <laughs> because if you have a party on your book and you tell them and you incentivize 
that you need two bookings from every party, not only to get the hostess free product, but also because that's just the way your business has run for the last six years. Like every party, then we book two more parties, and then we book two more parties, and then we book two more parties. And if your list today of the products that you tried on that you want and you cannot live without is longer than your budget, just book a party with me. I would love to give you those products for free or at a discount. Book a party with me. You get those two parties booked, and then those two hostesses bring you their network of women. And then those network of women book two parties and it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows, right? And you will not be in this, I need new leads headspace anymore. But even if you aren't or are in this headspace of I need new leads, you guys, there are people everywhere. And I just gave you about I don't know, 30 ideas at least (laughs) to go out there and get your hands on these women. We have something phenomenal to offer them, right? And our product is unmatched, especially when you look at the price comparison and the payoff for their skin. This is not a hard thing to do. You've just got to open your eyes and look for the women around you. Okay. Those are my tips. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I love, was everybody's hands going 90 miles an hour? (laughs) I mean, thank God it's recorded. (laughs) Carla's like, yes. So don't worry. Because I know all of you are like, I thought of about 10 consultants I want to give this to. So, um, and I love that, Amanda, because the old ways work for a reason. And it's not that new things, we don't embrace new things. I think we all did an amazing job during COVID. We can do what we need to do with that. Thank God we're all still standing. But I agree that, you know, sometimes I've been preaching, just go out that people want connection right now. And it, I don't know. I just, I throw in, there's nothing it's worked for 60 years. Yeah. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just do what has always worked. It works and it has longevity because of the way this company is set up. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My sweet friend. Those were amazing. You're so phenomenal. Okay. I know there's some of you that probably have questions real quick or um, want to say something to Amanda just to affirm her or some your takeaway. Please unmute real quick. I always love to leave time for that. You'll have to unmute yourself too because I muted you, even if you didn't think you did. Did I unmute? Okay. Yes, Carla. Okay, good. Amanda, thank you so, so much. I feel like I keep telling my girls the same thing over and over and over and it's not working. (laughs) So maybe them hearing it from you and these other ideas on how to expand on all of this might help them. And, you know, thank you. Good. Good. You're welcome. I love that. Anybody else? Well, I just want to say uh, thank you, Amanda. Oh my gosh, uh, I have to go back and wa- and watch this again. Um, but I'm so thrilled that I have four unit members that are on here today that Yay. heard this, and, and we'll be sharing it with the rest of our unit. Awesome, good, amazing. Anybody else? I love everything that was going on in the chat. By the way, I love all your. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Everybody sharing their ideas on there. Thank you for that, because I love, you know, sometimes just you can take an idea and tweak it a little bit different. And somebody with that same personality needs to see it that way. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, the bridal. Can I, say, I just wanted to say one thing. I really it's really good to hear to go back to the that we can still work the original ways, but incorporated with the new mm-hmm. technology. And that's what sometimes it holds us back is like, well, I don't want to go up and say those things. And and then you don't feel like you're being, you know, you don't want to push it in their faces because we don't have to. But yeah. it's just so good to be able to <clears throat> know that you can just have a conversation and talk and be who you are. And um, that's the greatest thing. So thank you for today. That was wonderful. Yes, good. Thanks, Connie. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Anybody else? If not, we're going to get off here. Thank you all of you for being part of this terrific uh, lunch and learn and a powerful Thursday. And I hope it leads into a safe, happy holiday weekend and an amazing finish to May because the company gave us something really special today that's going to happen tomorrow. So I think we should all really utilize that and run this race hard the next five weeks. I know you all will get all the blessings that you deserve. 
Thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank Bye you, guys. Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes, thanks, Jen. Oh, yes. Bye, ladies. Thank you. <clears throat>